Hi everyone and welcome to our new video series with ECG Tips. This is Hisham Ibrahim, I'm one of the emergency medicine consultants in United Kingdom and today we're going to cover our tip 4 of this new short video series. So in this one we're going to talk about something that is really important, though it might sound very basic to you, but it is really important to know and understand clearly. We're going to talk about the STEMI definition. For those of you who work in UK, uh, you know that the, the definition that most of us uh, follow is the ALS definition for STEMI. So this is the definition that was uh, published in the ALS uh, in 2016. And uh, by the way, in the newest version that was published in May 2021, it is still the same. So what they said here was that to qualify a patient for having a STEMI, you need to have uh, a presentation within 12 hours of onset of chest pain suggestive for an MI, and you need to have two millimeters of ST elevation in two adjacent chest leads, or more than one millimeter in two or more adjacent limb leads. So more than two millimeters in chest leads, more than one millimeter in limb leads. This is the definition from the ALS that most of us follow. But what I will try to do now is I'll try to go through different guidelines from different countries and let's see if the STEMI definition is going to be the same or it will be different. Let's start with the American College of Cardiology Foundation and American Heart Association guidelines. These are the STEMI guidelines from 2013 and the STEMI definition there was one millimeter or more in anywhere in the ECG except V2 and V3, as long as you've got two contiguous leads in absence of left bundle branch block or LVH. So this is very different. It is one millimeter or more. So how about V2 and V3? Well, they said in a male that is less than 40 years old, then you're allowed up to 2.5 millimeters. In a male that is more than 40 years old, you've got up to two millimeters and in a female regardless of the age it is 1.5 millimeter so this is the definition um, of STEMI in the American guidelines how about the European Society of Cardiology guidelines well they've published their um, guidelines in 2017 and this is what they said they said you need at least um, you need at least two contiguous leads with ST elevation and it is 2.5 millimeter in men less than 40 it is 2 millimeters in men over 40 and it is 1.5 millimeter in any woman that is just for V2 and V3 and then they said 1 millimeter or more in any other leads this is exactly the same definition of the American uh, Heart Association guidelines. So one millimeter, not more than that. How about this one? This is a really important uh, document that was released in 2018. This is uh, the fourth universal definition of myocardial infarction. Um, it's, it's, it's a document that's got representatives from from worldwide and uh, and they defined this STEMI as the following they said again one millimeter in all leads other than v2 and v3 so I guess the question now is why is the UK practice following the ALS definition that goes Again, it's the definitions almost everywhere else in the whole world. Um, when I tried to find the STEMI definition in the NICE guidelines, I couldn't really find any specific definition uh, in terms of how the ST elevation should be uh, to define a STEMI. Uh, but I found another interesting thing. I found in the SIGN guidelines published in April 2016, this definition. And in this one, they said that the ST elevation ACS is defined by presence of more than one millimeter ST elevation in at least 
two adjacent limb bleeds and two millimeters of ST elevation in at least two contiguous precordial leads, exactly the same as the ALS definition. So this is the only kind of guidelines that I could uh, find talking about two millimeters of ST elevation to consider it a STEMI um, other than the ALS. And, um, and to be honest, looking at what happened in terms of the changes uh, worldwide to the STEMI definition, I personally feel that this is going to change when they update these guidelines. And uh, this is it about our ECG tip. So thanks a lot for your time listening to this. I hope that you found this useful. I couldn't find anything better than the nine to finish with. Um, thanks again, and I'll be talking to you again very soon. Stay safe.